welcome to YMG Streaming uh, Yoga. My name is Deborah Miller, and I'll be your guide for today's practice. So what does YMG mean? YMG is bringing these two sacred energies of yin and yang, and finding the sacred space between these two efforts and between these two energies. And that's how we created YMG. So it made me think of one of the principles that is a really crucial principle in our yoga practice today. And that's called Abhyasa and Vadhyaga. And the more we come to that, the deeper we delve into these yogic principles to help us create um, not only a deep practice on the mat, but to walk into life with more clarity and really more freedom. So Abhyasa, it is this constant practice that you are performing with devotion. Um, abhyasa is an effort of long duration, without interruption, and it's steadfast, persistent. This is where we really persevere in our practice. We give it our all. Um, through Abhyasa, we focus our thoughts, our speech, and our actions towards virtue. And at the same time, we have Varyaka. So there's this constant flow of yin and yang, this Abhyasa and Varyaka. And Varyaka, Varyaka is the principle of detachment of letting go, of not creating a story to the things that are happening, and that takes us out of our present moment. So when we're practicing our varyaga, there's no expectations. Our freedom from desires becomes uh, elusive, right? It, it dissipates. Where you are right now in your practice is perfect. So begin to let go of yesterday, it's gone. Tomorrow hasn't happened. Be right here in the present right now. The practice of Abhyasa and Varyaga enhances our life in such a positive way. It allows clarity and stability while we're encountering the things that take us out of the moment, while we encounter fear, aversions, while we encounter um, attachments. So beginning to tap into our true nature. So for today's practice, I invite you to have maybe two blocks, a strap. If you need to sit on a blanket for comfort, go ahead and sit on a blanket. And from this seat, begin to close the eyes if they're not already closed, and begin to shift that journey inward. We start to refine the inward lens. So as you take a deep breath in, fill the body full, and as you exhale, begin to let go of something. Maybe you're not even aware of it yet, but as you inhale, feel that life force expand through you in a very three-dimensional way. And as you exhale, let all of the breath go out of the body and into her energy. Continue to follow these breaths a few more times. And keeping your mind's eye, not giving up, staying in full effort while letting go. As you continue your breath, notice, is there a time in your life where you embraced this paradox? Or you embrace this duality. And for today's practice, can you work without attaching to the outcome? Begin to set your intention now. You get a few more rounds of breath, full spine. Breath full and rich, seal the lips. Begin to shift into Ujjayi breath. Feel that subtle contraction of the back of the throat, that oceanic sound as if you're fogging up a mirror in front of you through sealed lips. Keep that pattern of breath, and now this breath becomes the metronome of your practice. When this breath is difficult to maintain, begin to dial the effort down. If this breath is easy to maintain, dial the effort up. Good, take one more round of breath in. And exhaling out, settling into the body, the awareness, the abhyasa, and the maniaga. Good, lightly blinking the eyes open. We're going to find a block, and we're going to find a strap. Bringing the block between the inner thighs, let's begin to awaken the shoulder girdle. So I'm going to face you so you can see what this looks like from the front, and then I'll turn to the side. You can curl the toes up behind you, or you can leave the tops of the feet flat on the mat. So take a nice wide 
trip on the strap. And straps are really long, you can almost extend them the length of your height, right? Your arms fully expanded is how tall you are. Just a little fun fact. So when you get that extension on the strap, it's nice and taut. On the inhale, lift the arms up. As you lift the arms up, pull the shoulder blades down the back. As you pull the shoulder blades down the back, notice how that part space opens and soften the bottom ribs. Good, hold for another beat, nice and tight on the strap. And on the exhale, begin to reach behind you. Maybe you need to expand that strap just a little bit more. There will be a place where it's sticky. Hold in that place for just a beat. Hold it and feel it. Acknowledge these sensations, acknowledge the feels, and let that draw all the way down, nice and slow for these first few rounds. As you inhale, pass through that sticky spot. Notice that the shoulders want to creep up and keep pressing the shoulders down. Lift all the way up and float the arms down. Good, we'll do this press to move it now. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, press the arms behind you. Good, inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, behind you. Good, on the next inhale, bring the arms up, hold the arms up. Really hug the block together with the inner thighs adduction working. Exhale to the right side, arcing. And as the right hand presses to the earth, the left hand presses to the sky. Let's hold the arcing shape. On the inhale, look up. On the exhale, look down. On the inhale, up. On the exhale, down. Good, one more time up. Move through the neck. Exhale, down. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, over to the left side. And feel that even energy. The left hand is pulling to the earth. The right hand is pulling to the sky, keeping taut tension on the strap. Good. Really arcing through the right side. Give another little energetic squeeze to the inner thighs. Good. On the inhale, look up. On the exhale, look down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Good. One more time up. And one more time down. Good, inhale back to center. Bring those arms straight out in front of you. Right, maybe shorten up your grip here. Good, take an in breath. Exhale, revolve to the right side. Keep the hip points facing forward. As that right hand presses towards the back of your mat, press the right hip forward, counteracting, softening the shoulder heads down, pressing the shins into the mat, stay in the twist, and inhale center. Staying steady through the lower body, exhale, revolve to the left side, straight and strong through the strap, wrap that left hip forward as you press the left hand towards the back of the room, back of your mat. Good, stay with it for three, good, stay with it for two, and inhale back to center. Good, on the inhale, bring the arms up. This is where I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. So curl the toes under so you get just a little more space. Maybe you find just a little more length on the strap. We're coming into Arda Ustrasana, a half camel or a quarter camel. So we're going to revolve just a little bit to the right. Let the right hand reach for the right heel. Let the left hand reach up high to the sky. Press the hip points forward. Draw up the low belly. Lengthen the tailbone towards the earth. Good. Find some space. Expand through the heart for three. Good for two. Inhale, bring it up. Quarter turn to the left. Left hand to the left heel, right hand to the sky. Coming into this half camel. Lift the gaze up. Find space. Open expansion through the heart for three. Good for two. And one inhale, rise. Good, let's go ahead and bring the strap back in front of your knees mat, but make it available for you. We may be using it for some binds as we play with Ekapada Kumbhinyasana. Heard there's pose. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Breath in through the nose. Exhale, cat pose. Coiling the navel underneath the ribcage and towards the heart as you press the hips forward and tuck the chin deeply. 
Inhale, let the tailbone lift. Follow the energy of the spine. Lift the heart space up and the gaze will fall. Good as you exhale, coiling, scooping, spreading across the shoulder blades. As you inhale, follow the energy, lift up the tailbone, let the belly drop, follow the serpentine spine, shoulder blades hang on the back. Good, a couple more times to find that flexion of the spine in cat pose, the extension of the spine in cow. Good, one more time. Good, and come to neutral. Lift your right knee off of the mat. Come into a little, like a fire hydrant. Begin to circulate and really open up that right hip joint. Good, big circles, maybe some little circles. No judgments, right? This is the abhyasa and the Madhyaga of your practice. Practicing with devotion, eyes on the highest of high. Pause and go the other direction. While being able to let go of attachments, comparisons, these things really take our joy from the practice. Okay, so whether these are small or whether these are big, just depends on how you feel in that hip today. Good, and anchor the right shin down. Left knee rises, fire hybrid type of a position, and begin to circulate. Big or small, just get some of that synovial fluid going in the hip joint. Nice mobility, that ball and socket. Good, just a few more rounds in this direction. Good, and pause. Begin to circle the opposite way. Good, big or small. Stacking the bones. The bones stack so that the muscles can hug around the bones and the skin can hug around the muscles. Good, bring it back down. Good, just slide your right hip between your hands. And so track the knee over the ankle. Bring your hands to your right thigh. Low crescent, Anjane Asana. Inhale, bring the arms up by the ears. Biceps glued to the ears, fingers spread wide. Create energy in the hands, energy through the spine. Good, sit just a little deeper. Inner thighs, give a little hug. Good, bring your arms out to a T, turn the thumbs down. Slide the hands behind your back. Reverse namaste, so bring the tips of the fingers together and walking up to the palms. If that is not available, grab a little forearm to forearm. Good, lift your heart space. Feel that lift and expansion. Good. Exhale. Take a hinge. Get long through the spine, long through the back of the neck. Feel really grounded in your right foot. That right foot is scrubbing back energetically. Right hip out, right hip hugging in. Notice that length through the spine. And let the hands release. So hold them down, just let them shake. Interlace the hands behind the small of the back. Press the knuckles back and the heart space forward. Feel the shoulder blades nestling. On the inhale, lift up the sternum and press the knuckles towards the earth. Shift your gaze to the sky. Feel the lift from the heart space. And bring the hands back to heart space. Good. One more lengthening of the spine. Feel those inner thighs hugging. Left elbow comes to the outer right thigh. Take a nice Reverse prayer twist. Aiming to stack the elbows, pressing deeply into each hand, rooting deeply, firmly into your front foot. Bring the hands around your right foot. Shift back. Ardha Hanuman is half split. Find a little bit of sensation in the back of the hamstring, the belly of the hamstring, so maybe you flex and point. Keep exploring the length through the spine. And when you find some sensation, pause there and breathe into it. Being the observer, the witness. Not attaching to the stories. What is happening right now, presently in your body? And be compassionate to all. That is arising and bubbling up. Then on your next breath, shift forward. Bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot and toe heel your right foot. 
Coming into a little lizard lunge, runner's lunge, beginning to feel that little external rotation in that outer right hip. Some of you may already feel like, oh, I need to lift that back leg. But there's no hierarchy, there's just this moment of acknowledging. And if you need blocks, bring the blocks underneath the hands. The hands are underneath the shoulders. Begin to lower down onto the forearms. Now the elbows are still underneath the shoulders. And maybe here you say, maybe I should have left my knee on the mat. Maybe not. Right? It's always in it depends. Stay with your energy. Stay with your breath. If you're on your forearms, rotate your left forearm across your chest. You can stay on the blocks. Roll onto the pinky edge of your back foot. Slide your right foot down, either into a modified side plank. And this is just as juicy. You get a lot of work into that left oblique. Or maybe you take it all the way to the back of the mat, coming into a full side plank. Tilting the chin upward. Eyes are lifted. High on virtue. Making this a moving meditation. Creating your connection to God, to higher consciousness, and to divine spirit. And bringing that right hand back down or forearm down. Step that right foot back into the top of the mat to the best of your ability. Gonna slide these blocks just a little bit out of the way. Toe heel your right foot so now the knee is right underneath the shoulder. Slide your right hand underneath. So now your right hand is on the pinky edge of your right foot. And hug the knee to the shoulder. Really hug the knee to the shoulder a lot. Good. Again, this is an opportunity to lower that shin. We're just beginning. Right? Whether that back leg is lifted or straight, coming into a power lunge. Interlace the hands around the right shin. Lengthen through the back. Press that left heel back. Feel the right leg really energized, scooping the navel, outer right hip hugging to the inner left heel, taking all these breaths to continue to adjust and adapt, finding depth, the avyasana. Good, bring the hands back to the mat. Soften the left shin down no matter what. Good, really hug those elbows in, like magnets are between the two elbows, hugging me into the shoulder, shoulder compression. Hinge forward beyond the crease of your elbows, beyond the crease of your wrists. Good. Begin to toe heel your right foot off to a 45 degree angle. Keep walking it and walking it until the back of your hamstring just rests on these chaturanga type arms. If your heel is off the mat, there you are. You are in a beginning of ekapada kundinyasana. Hold for three. Good for two. And sweep it back. Good. Take a round of cap. And a round of cap. Step your left foot forward. Find some extension in space. Both hands on your left thigh. Align the spine. Feel grounded in your left foot. Inhale, the arms rise. Ajanayasana. From this nice low lunge, bring the arms up to a teacher and the thumbs down. Slide the hands behind the back, reverse namaste. Slide the tips of the fingers between the shoulder blades. Let the elbows soften. Press the heart space forward. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale. Hinge. Get long through the spine. Keep zippering those inner thighs together. Lift the shoulder heads up. Really feel that extension and expansion around the girdle of the shoulders. Your gaze down the bridge of the nose, the back of the neck is long. Take a breath in. And let those hands release. Good. Bring those hands out and back. Opposite thumb on top. Press the knuckles towards the back wall. Nestle the shoulder blades together. Start to feel the energy in your body starting to shiver through the limbs. Good. On the next inhale, press the knuckles towards the earth. Heart space lifts to the sky. Holding for three. Holding for two. Release. Hands bring the left foot. Hinge back, Ardha Hanuman. 
Option to use the blocks. Hands on blocks, bring the earth a little bit closer to you. Flex and point, find sensation. And when you find sensation, settle in. Drawing the heart even further towards the top of the mat. Releasing and rounding the spine. Staying patient. Staying peaceful. And finding perseverance. The abhyasa. Good hinging forward. Slide the blocks out. Hands come on the inside of the left foot. Toe heel of the left foot about 45 degrees. Just open enough that you can start to feel this lizard lunge, this little runner's lunge opening up the left hip, that external rotation. Again, if you choose, you can curl the toes under and lift the right leg. Letting gravity descend upon that left hip. Notice where you're fighting it. Moving into the flow of your energy. And if your leg is extended, go ahead and lower it now. Toe heel, the left foot back in line with the left shoulder. Press the knee to the shoulder a lot. Slide the left hand underneath. Thumbs by the pinky edge of your left foot. As you can press the knee to the shoulder, the shoulder into the knee, get long through the spine. If that left hip is popping out, Hug that outer left hip, outer left hip, towards your inner right heel. From here, maybe you lift up that right leg. Maybe you keep the shin on the mat. Interlace the hands around the ankle, come into power lunge. Good, really lengthen through the spine. Feel the heart moving forward, the heel pressing back, the inner thigh spinning to center line. Powering up, feeling energy through the left quad. Five, four, three, two, hands to the mat on the inside. Toe heel your left foot, hug those elbows in, move beyond the wrist creases, creating chaturanga arms. As you toe heel that left foot, the back of the left hamstring will rest on the back of your elbow. Just lift the knee up enough, you can always drop that back knee down. For three, good for two, send it back. Breath in, exhale out, take a child's pose. Tail one towards the heels, tips of the fingers towards the top of the mat. You're really stretching all those places that feel sticky. Surya Namaskara A, hinge forward, curl the toes, downward dog. Good from downward dog, should you reach to the top of the mat, find the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, find length through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees if this is where you need to be today. Honor your body. Press the feet into the mat. Root to rise. Scoop it all the way up. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart space. Namaste to you. Surya A, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Spread the fingers wide. Bend the knees. Step or toe back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Unfurl the toes. Upward facing dog. Urdhva Mudrishanasana. Exhale, downward dog. Adho Mudrishanasana. Breath in. And exhale out. On the toes and rest. Exhale, bend the knees. If you're stepping to the top of the mat, alternate the feet. Halfway lift through the inhale. Exhale, deepen your foot. Good, inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart space, samasthiti. Inhale, scoop up all of that prana, that life force. Exhale, forward fold with the flattest of backs and deepest of intentions. Inhale, offer your heart space. Exhale, hands to the mat, bend the knees, step or float back, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Deep breath in. And exhale out. High on the toes, shift gaze. Exhale, bend the knees. Maybe you try floating. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it all the way up, gather. 
Excellent hands to full space. One more round. These ritual openings settle the mind. Awaken the body. Inhale, upward face. And exhale, downward face. Breath in. And exhale out. High in the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, sit up and look into the top of the mat, halfway lifting. And exhale, folding, stay in the fold. Thumbs to the elbow creases, a little sway from side to side. Really let the head hang heavy. Feel the decompression between each and every vertebra. Let the shoulders melt towards the earth. The thoughts of the mind that are busy, the sheet of Riti melt to the earth and settle away. There is nothing in this moment except for you and your practice. We bring the shin, hands to the shins, come halfway up, find extension from tailbone to nape of neck. Good, exhale, fold, bend the knees, root into the feet, feel firm rooted feet into the earth. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Good, the gaze is forward, shoulder blades on the back body, knit the navel in, close the rib cage. Shift the thigh bones back just enough. Knees tracking over the middle toe. Hold for an in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping or floating to chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, right foot between the hands, closer to the right thumb. Spin the left foot down. Press the pinky edge of the left foot into the mat. Bring your right thumb into the right hip crease. Hug it back towards the back heel. Keep the knee tracking over the right ankle. Extending arms forward. Get that long spine. Keep rooting into your back foot. Inhale, lift up the torso. First warrior. Virahadrasana one. Spin the inner left thigh to the sky. Wrap the left rib cage towards the belly button. Take a deeper bend in the right knee. Take a breath in. Exhale, frame your right foot. Right foot to the back of the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. Breath in. And big exhale out. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Anchor the pinky up to the right foot so you're equally weighted in both feet. Bring the left thumb to the left hip crease. Wrap it towards the back heel. Good, extend the arms forward. Get them all through the spot. As you press the pinky edge of your back foot into the earth, so grounded, lift up the torso. Find first warrior. Wrapping now the right rib cage towards your midline, spinning the inner left thigh, organizing your body into this first warrior. Virahadrasana one, breath in. As you exhale, frame the left foot, left foot to the back of the mat, chaturanga, inhale upward facing, and exhale downward facing. Good, high the toes should get. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, stay up or float to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Chair pose. Sit deeply in a chair. Hands to heart space, you rise. Good, acknowledge your efforts. Feel your heartbeat rise. This is the effort, undaunted, in Abhyasa. Good, next inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, bend the knees, stepping and flowing. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right foot between the hands, root in, rise, first warrior. Follow the exhale to frame the right foot, chaturanga. Inhale, scoop up the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left foot between the hands, root to warrior one, in breath. Exhale, frame the left foot. Left foot to back of the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, urdhva. And exhale, downward facing. Good, three breaths here, three. Let the head drop. Press the heart towards the thighs, heels to the mat. Engage the quads up. 
Every shape is an act and a shape of devotion. Good on the next breath, high the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float to the top of the mat, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, space rise. Good, again. Utkatasana, chair pose. Slide those thigh bones back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat, step in your floating chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right foot between the hands. First warrior, one breath. Exhale, frame your right foot. Chata. Inhale, Urva. And exhale, Adamuka. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands. First warrior. Good. Exhale, frame the left foot. Back to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Explore your downward dog. We recalibrate a downward dog in place of function often. Good on the next breath, find the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float to the top of the mat, half lift. Exhale, deep fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. Hands to our space, flat. Breath in. And exhale up. Last round of Surya Namaskar B, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or float to chata. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot between the hands, anchor the back foot, first warrior. Exhale, framing the right foot to chata. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands, first warrior. Exhale, frame the left foot, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Find breath. Find steadiness. Steady breath, steady mind, steady actions. <coughs> Behind the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step in your floating to the top of the mat, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Chair pose. And rise. Samas Dtihi. Equal standing pose. Find a place again of recalibration. Coming back to your intention. What brings you to the mat? What keeps you coming back to the mat? Being an observer of the paradox of Abhyasa and Vayaka. These two important principles in our yoga practice. The practice of devotion and virtue, creating this moving meditation, while surrendering expectation, stories, that which takes us out of the moment. Detachment. Then on the next inhale, chair pose. Sit deep in a chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands are not stepping or floating to chata. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, the right foot between the hands. First warrior. And hold first warrior. And this sort of side is going face you. And hold first warrior. Good, turn the palms out. Interlace the hands behind the back. Knuckles down, heart rise. Exhale, humble your warrior. Knee into the shoulder. Feel the shoulder compression. Knuckles rising behind the small of the back. Spine is long. Chin is tucked. Crown of head humbly melting towards the earth. On the next inhale, unbind the hands. Find first warrior. Exhale, second warrior. Adjust your feet. Gaze over the right hand. Expand across the heart space. Right palm up. Inhale, reverse. 
Really drop the left arm down. Soften the left shoulder. Expand through the right ribs. Deeper bend in the right knee, pressing the inner right thigh towards the pinky edge of your foot. Keeping the external rotation of the front leg. Bring it back to second warrior. Reach that right arm long. Arms to six and 12. You can always rest your forearm on the thigh. Use that compression of your elbow or your forearm or the bicep on that inner thigh to activate that external rotation and open the rib cage. Stay rooted and firm in your feet. Static hold in that deep end of the right knee. Reverse. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle, hold it here. Take the top hand behind you like you're high-fiving the back wall. Bend that elbow. Find it in your hip crease or the small of your back. This is where that strap may come in handy if you're having a hard time sliding that right hand underneath the hip and interlacing the hands behind the back. So maybe you put the strap in those hands so that the left shoulder peels open to the sky and the spine stays in a nice long line. Good, hold the line for three. Good for two. Release the bind. Straighten the right leg. Reverse triangle pose. Good, bring those arms back to the T. Plug the root of the right thigh in. Get really long through the right side of the waist. Bring the arms to six and 12. Hand can be on a block. The more you lengthen the right rib cage, the more you peel open the left rib cage. Stacking the shoulders, stable through the legs. For three, good for two. Come back to second warrior. From second warrior, straighten the right leg, turn the toes towards the side of the mat, start pose. On the exhale, hug the heels in, goddess pose. Inhale, start, and exhale, goddess. Inhale, start. And exhale, goddess. Good, one more time, star. Exhale to the top of the mat. First warrior, left foot is forward. Press the pinky edge of your back foot. Square up the shoulders. Good, turn the palms to the outside edges of the room. Interlace the hands, opposite thumb on top. Knuckles down, heart space lifted. As you exhale, hinge the torso. Keep length at the knee. From the pelvis to the crown of the head, get long through each and every vertebra. As the left shoulder comes into the left knee, compress. Press the knuckles towards the sky as the head melts towards the earth. Soften any ripping of the jaw, the eyes, the mind, the feet. Good, holding humble for three. Good for two. On the next inhale, first warrior. On the exhale, second warrior, adjust the feet. Pinky edge of the back foot rooted. Inner left thigh wrapping, external rotation. Square shoulders to the top of the mat, sit deep. Gaze over your left hand, tall spine. Hold for a beat. Turn the left palm up. Inhale, reverse. Hold the reverse. Soften the right shoulder away from the ear. Deeply reach to the left side. Notice that that left leg wants to go straight in. Keep the deep end of the left knee. Pressing the inner thigh towards the pinky edge of the foot. Feeling the heat. Building tapas, endurance. Purifying the body, mind, soul. On the next breath, second warrior. Lengthen through the torso. Form on the thigh. Arms to six and 12. Pressing the left rib cage towards the side of the room, lifting the right rib cage towards the sky, pressing the inner thigh towards the pinky edge of the foot, keeping that external rotation. Notice the feels. And now we dance with that reverse. And side angle. Good, reverse. And side angle. Good, one more time, reverse. And on this side angle, hold your side angle. Stay with the intensity. Turn your top hand, high five the back wall. Bend the elbows, small of the back. Slide the left hand under or grab your strap or a shirt or anything that you have to help you expand. Then hold the side angle. Zip up the low belly. Peel the right shoulder just a little bit higher. Get long through the back of the neck. Three, two, and reverse. Ooh, 
straighten that left leg. Feel it from the toes to the nails of your hands. Bring the arms to the teeth. Plug that left hip back, reach that left hand forward. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Tilting the chin towards the sky. If you have any neck issues, gaze to the earth. If you need a block here, put a block under the left hand. If you're gazing to the earth, observe what happens to that top shoulder. Does it come along for the rock? Find length through the left side of the waist. On the next breath, second warrior. Inhale, star pose. Turn the toes towards the top of the mat. Spread the fingers wide. Find your energy. Exhale, bring the heels in. Goddess pose. Good inhale, star. Expand. Exhale to goddess. Then one more time, star. Hold the goddess here. Good from goddess pose. Elbows as high as the shoulders. Sit into the heels. Good, maybe bring the heels away from the earth. Get a nice little activation through the thighs. Sit just a little deeper, a little activation through the glutes. Hug the blades together, keep the tall spine, keep focused, keep breathing. Three, two, lower the heels and lift the arms up. Good, turn the toes in, bring those arms out to a T. Shift the weight forward, long spine. Good, bring the hands to the mat. Good, maybe walk the hands behind you, parallel, reaching towards the earth. Walk your left hand over to the right heel, keeping that prostrated shape intact. Open up to the right side. Then lower the right hand down. Walk the hands across to the left side. Then lower the left hand down. Come halfway up, length of the spine. On the exhale, rotate towards the top of the mat, bend your right knee. The left foot meets the right, you're at the top of the mat. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Good, stay in the heat, inhale, rise. Sama seat to knee. Good, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or flow back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, the right foot between the hands. Inhale, first warrior. Good, from first warrior, move right into second warrior. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side. Good, one more time. Sweeping, arcing, reaching. Exhale, find your side angle. Good, bend the top elbow. Find your bind. Press the knee to the shoulder, the shoulder into the knee to feel that connection. Begin to straighten the right leg. Press into the inner heel, big toe ball mount. Notice the capacity of that left shoulder to peel open to the sky. Good, bend the right knee. Good, straighten the right leg. Coming into bound tree manasana, one more time, bend the knee. Good, and straighten the leg. Good, long through the spine, holding for three. Good, find your space for two. Good, bring your hands to traditional tree manasana. Be an observer of the space that you just created with your body. Good, come to second warrior. Straighten it up. Exhale, heels in. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Just flush all that energy through. Inhale, top. To the back of the mat, first warrior. Good, find that deep first warrior. Good, lift that heart space up. Exhale, second warrior. Adjust the feet, open up the pelvis, open up the heart space. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. One more time, reverse. Find side angle. Top hand to the back wall, bend the elbow. Find your bind. Good, from your bind, you get to straighten the left leg. Now triangle pose. 
long through the torso. Good, bending the left knee. Good, and straight the left leg. Good, one more time, bend. One more time, find that length and that extension. Hold the bound, triangle pose. Explore. For three. For two. Release the bind, traditional triangle pose. Steady breath. Recommit to the bend in the left knee, second warrior. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Stay in goddess. Elbows high. Thumb and first finger together. Bring the forearms to touch. Exhale. Inhale. Clear your energetic space. Exhale, forearms touch. Inhale, expand, sit a little deeper. We're clearing Maya, we're clearing illusion. What you invite into your energetic space is your choice. So just like an energetic windshield wiper, we are following breath. Good, three. Good, two. And one, hold the arms together. So the pulses. Lift, lift, lift that heart space to the sky. Stay in the energy of the legs. Three, two, one, start. Turn the toes in and the heels out, arms extend. As you pinch forward, making prasarita, hands on the heels, bend the elbows, forms into the earth. Hairline making its way to the earth. If your hairline comes to the mat, if your head is on the mat, bring those hands underneath the shoulders, bend the elbows a lot. Preparing for tripod headstand, or just stay right where you are. Begin to shift the weight so much that the feet begin to float away from the earth. Bringing the legs tall and strong. Inner thighs hugging. Ball mounts of the toes lifting. Shoulders drawing out of the ears. For three. Good for two. Opening up the legs. Flexing the feet. Mindfully coming back to the earth. Inhale, half lift. Stay here for the beat. Good. Rotate the toes to the top of the mat. Bring your right foot. Left foot to the top of the mat. Meets the right foot. Chair pose. Chair pose. Hands to the heart space. Sama Stiti. And breath in. And breath out. Taking our last round, we'll be adding Ekapada Kundinyasana here. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. This is your peak. Inhale, land. Exhale, hands on the mat, bending the knees, step in the flow. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, right foot between the hands, first warrior. Exhale, second warrior. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, partial inhale. Inhale, reversing. Exhale, side angle. Good, reverse. And side angle. Good, bind. Hold the bind. Straighten right leg. Reverse tree Bound tree Bound tree Good, release the bind. Traditional tree Good, shift your gaze to the right foot. Slide the right hand, maybe even bend the right knee as much as you need. Maybe that right hand is on a block. Half moon pose. Coming to the extension of half moon. Balancing, honoring. Maybe even floating that top hand. Recommit, second warrior. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, frame your right foot. Bring your right foot high to the sky. Here we go with Ekapada Kalinyasana. Really reach that right leg up. As you exhale, bring it across to the left side. Just a little revolution. Good, inhale, right leg high. If Ekapada Kalinyasana, if curdlers is not in your practice, just keep the knee to the elbow. 
Hinge forward, hug the elbows in. Get the knee on the back of the tricep. As you hinge forward, shift your gaze, extend the right leg. For three, good for two. Inhale, right leg high. Come to your effort. Exhale, the right foot between the hands. Anchor the back foot, first warrior. Exhale, second warrior. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. You got this. One more time, star. To the top of the mat, first warrior. Good from your first warrior. Level set the hips, level set the spine. Good. Second warrior. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Good. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side. Right, maybe even taking all the way to Tita. Good. One more time, reverse. Good. Finding your flow, side angle. Good. Right arm up. Palm to the back wall. Find the bump. Good. And from the bind, begin to straighten the left leg. Bound through Kamasana. Getting long through the spine, through that shoulder compression. Then release the hands. Traditional Trikonasana. Good. From traditional Trikonasana, shift your face to the left foot. Gentle bend in the left knee. Slide the hand to a block or to the earth. Right foot hugs in just enough to root into the standing left leg. Good. As you reach your right hand high to the sky, shift your gaze straight forward or to the sky. Really challenge that balance. Good for three. Good for two. Recommit second warrior. Good. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, frame your left foot. Good. Inhale, left leg high. Three legged dog. I'm going to switch my direction so you can see it on this side. Inhale, three legged dog. Left leg is high. Good. Exhale, bring the left knee over to the right side, get a little revolution. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to the left tricep. Hinge forward, hug those elbows in. Shift your gaze to the side, extend in Ekapada Kuminyasana. Hold for five, four, three, two. Anchor the left, right foot, left leg high. Exhale, the left foot between the hands. Second warrior. Good. Inhale to start. Exhale, goddess. Good. One more time to start. Feel that big expansion of your heart. Pause here. Feel all of that beautiful energy. You're releasing love, giving it to the world. And what you give, you get back tenfold. Good. Bring that back into center. Find the space. Good with the elbows high, clearing the space for the last time in this moment. Right, right here, right now. What are you letting go of? What are you detaching from? Two things cannot occupy the same place at the same time. If you're holding on to something that is not serving you, be really willing to let it go. And it's not once, it's not even twice. Sometimes it's a daily practice of letting go of the same thing until it holds no power. You continue to work towards that surrender until what comes back, what fills that space, is so much more valuable to you than what was holding you down. Go bring it together. A lift, a lift, as if you're holding your intention. You're proposing this offering through this moving meditation, giving thanks and giving gratitude for this beautiful body, this opportunity, and this moment to be fully alive. Good, bring those arms up. And exhale the hands to the heart space. Take a breath in. And a big exhale out. Again, breath in. And exhale out. We walk those feet a little bit closer together. The hands right at the hips. Compress those hips in to get long through the spine. You can even bend your knees here. Once you have a forward fold all the way over the thighs, really long through the spine, let there be a full surrender here. 
the way to the head, the way to the shoulders. Let the little rag doll. There's nothing holding. Let the hands come to the insides of your feet. Toe heel the feet just enough so that as you lower the hips down, you find Malasana. Another pose of purifying the body, opening up the hips where we hold all of our information, our history. It's all stored there. So begin to release those layers. An option to sit on the walk here listening to what is coming up, being the kind and compassionate observer, not the judgmental observer. Imagine that you're talking to your inner child. Picture in your mind's eye yourself at age four or five, playful, curious, just full of joy. And how would you speak to that child? Encouraging, compassionate. You want nothing but the best for that child, and that child resides in you. Get sitting in a salasana for a breath. And you begin to release and come all the way down to the earth. Let the knees come together. Wrap the forearms around the shins, and let the forehead and knees come to me. Bow into the self. You are your highest teacher. Whatever somebody else tells you to do, you know intuitively what is right and what is wrong for your body. The more we trust our gut instinct, the more we trust that space inside us, that God-given instinct, the more we do tap into our true nature. We trust our own selves, our own decisions. Bring the heels to the mat. Bring the palms face up. Begin to curl down one vertebra at a time. And as you get about three quarters of the way there, press the small of the back into the earth and pause. As you pause, press the navel down. Hold those inner thighs together as if a block is there. Palms face each other in little tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, squeeze the ribs together, hold the shoulder blades back, lift the sternum, keep that navel in, maybe float a leg, maybe float the other leg. Right, you're really resting and balancing here, stabilizing through all things. Five, four, three, two, hover. Keep that low back in the mat. Keep the navel pressing down. Tips of the fingers come together. Begin to circle. First, second, and third chakra, you are stirring up that energy. Five, keep squeezing legs together. Four, three, two, and pause. Circulate the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze, and release. The whole body. Just feel like it's disintegrating. Just melting into the earth. Take a deep breath in. And a big exhale. Drawing the knees into the heart space, the small of the back, staying into the mat. A gentle walk from right to left. Good, then place your left foot on the mat. Bring your right foot over the left. Press the right thigh away. Not on the knee, not on the hip joint. You know, avoid the joints. Then as you press into the belly of that inner thigh, really feel the deep stretch and opening through that right hip joint. If it feels good, draw the left knee in. Bring the arms out to a T. Let both the right foot and your left hip roll open to the left side. Get a little twist through the torso until the sole of the right foot comes to the mat. Maybe, maybe easy over the left shoulder. Breath in. And exhale. Soften. 
soften summer. Let it be. Coming back to center. Hug both of the knees in. Anchor the right foot down. Cross the left foot over the right. Press the belly of that inner thigh. Create space in the hip joint. Notice how that feels. Breathe into it. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you slide the hands behind the right thigh. Notice that the left knee starts coming to the left shoulder and keep pressing, maybe with your elbow, but just with your energy. Keep that opening of the left hip as you draw the right knee even closer. Then hold for three. Hold for two. Bring the arms out to a T. Root the shoulders into the earth. Breath in. Exhale, move all the hips to the right side until the left foot either comes to the mat or onto the block. Gazing over the opposite shoulder. Feeling settled in time and space. Feeling the particles melting into the earth. Our millions of cells capturing our beautiful intention our devotion, our moving meditation. And then the beauty of the practice, coming back to center, as you hug the knees in, is to detach from anything that holds you from your highest potential. Detach from the stories, from the ego. And as you exhale, you should also. Letting these beautiful moments of Shavasana be a time of integrating the mind, the body, and the spirit. Stay in your Shavasana, eyes closed. Every second brings a fresh beginning and a new start. Every hour holds a new promise. Every night, our dreams can bring hope. And every day is what you choose to make it. I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you would like. If you're ready to come out of Shavasana, begin to move. Feeling in this practice with the sacred sound of Om, the beginning and the ending of all sound. There's three syllables to your Om, the A, the U, the M. Let each of those sounds resonate through you as you open up your heart and your voice to the ocean. Breath in. Thank you.